Hey, I'm Phil from Afoot Games, and I'm going to show you how to spawn your character without a weapon in the Lyra starter game, and also how to set up an input mapping for the drop weapon ability. Alright, so normally we start off with a pistol or whatever is in your inventory. The default is pistol. And that's not what we want. First thing we're going to do, plugins, shooter core content, and then just search for hero and if this is the hero you're using the character then use this all right let's go over to um, weapon ID X that out inventory initial inventory take that out and here's what happens all right no anim instance layers right so we're going to go to add initial inventory and here at the end let's make a variable initialized inventory inbin whatever let's make it an integer pull it out set it's here we're going to go with one if it's here we're gonna go with two and just so I remember what all this is zero not initialized initialized one has item two no item Okay, that's all good to go. Let's go back to the event graph. Uh, get into this beginning part. Show pawn again next frame. And at the end of that, set timer by function name. Set it to 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 or something low. Looping. Pull this out, remote to variable. Um, and in timer, whatever. In it, and in timer. That sounds good. Okay. Compile. Let's make the name set initial anims. Take that and copy it. We're going to make a function. S oh, uh, set initial anims. And then we're going to grab this initialized. Oh, not set. Control. Grab. All right, we're going to do a switch. On int, I had a couple of these. Okay, now for we're going to grab our mesh set nm instance. Oh, wait, layer. Yeah, link nm class layer. No, no. Yeah, well, that's right. Okay, put this down in two. Let's go unarmed layers. Uh, grab our timer. Get clear. And remember, this is if there is a weapon, we're just going to clear the handle. If there's not a weapon, we're going to, and it is initialized, then it's going to uh, set that NM instance layer and then clear the timer. Hmm. That looks right. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Ah, yes. Uh, this, the one on the left is a client. So I need to take this guy. Replicate. Replicated. And I think it doesn't matter. I'm, I don't, I, honestly, I'm not familiar with these. I'm doing initial only because I think it works. Boom. Look at there. And you can pick up a weapon. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't fixed that yet in this project. There we go. All right, good to go. All right, now, next we're going to set it to where we can um, drop our weapon. And if you'll go into Ability Set, Shooter Hero, if that's the ability set you're using, uh, we already have Drop a Weapon in there. But, oh yeah, and if you check here, I drop. It's already got uh, an input action with for it. And we need to go to this input mapping context and add a new one. Drop weapon. Uh, you can map it to whatever you want. Just click the little key keyboard. I do left alt. I don't think I need anything. Let's do, uh, I mean, drop weapon. Drop weapon. Okay. Theoretically, that should be it since it's already mapped. Let's take a look and see. All right. It's replicating correctly. All right. And what it was? It left alt. There you go. Put it away. All right. So we spawned up. I uh, spawned up without a weapon. And we picked one up and then we dropped it. So those are two useful things for especially for prototyping. So I hope that helps. So just in case you were wondering, I am still working on the first person. It's just taking a lot of work. It's uh, more than I was expecting, but still working on it. And uh, really excited about how it's coming along. Uh, yeah, so look forward to that in the future.